interacting with the horses teaches them accountability, responsibility, love for another being, patience. Our guest today is on a mission to help kids from a variety of backgrounds build self-esteem and reach their full potential through horsemanship and mentoring programs. Join us as we visit with Jennifer Jones, President and Professional Riding Instructor at the Montanova Stables Foundation. Come on! Squeeze them. Good, 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 good. There. Good. So she just needed to kick a little bit more, Tara? Uh -huh. Good. Make it happen, make it happen. Don't kick too hard. Keep those eyes up. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> it's not really about just riding. It's about see how the animals feel when you take care of them and you can socialize with them. And if you do socialize with them, you can get to know them better. And then they'll look up to you. So hands forward, Nisa, so you're not pulling back when you're wanting him to walk. So hands forward. Good, let me see your two point again. Tall in your body, there. Don't wanna follow me. Um, we're learning how to take care of a horse, like grooming it, tacking it up, cleaning its stall, and cleaning its water buckets and food buckets. So Jennifer, what do you offer here at Montanova Stables? We operate as a nonprofit mm -hmm. and we offer a full lesson and boarding program. Pretty much our general theory is that we don't turn anybody away for lack of funds. Ah. Um, so we get kids through social services, we get kids through the family support workers at the schools. Boys and Girls Com Club comes out once a week. And then we also have people who approach us who have heard about our program. And there is a little bit of an interview process that goes on. We want kids who are really passionate about the farm or the horses. Um, so we'll talk to people and find out if we're going to be the right environment for them. And then if funds are limited, we work something out with the parents and the kids. Um, depending on the age of the kid, they might help out in the barn a little bit. Some of the older kids will take some responsibility and keep track of hours and work for lessons. Younger kids, we get them introduced to the stable and let them get some experience before we have them start doing that. And the kids that are part of the after-school program, that I mean, so they're here year-round almost, almost, right. which they, is a great opportunity. Th so they come for the whole academic school mm -hmm. year, and they come twice a week, and they get off the bus. So they're here with us for a couple of hours, and it's for the whole school year, um, twice a week. And then they too, they do the riding and the horsemanship. And you'll find the kids who have been in a summer camp still want to take care of the horse that they adopted. Yeah. So we generate most of our after school kids through the summer camps. And we'll have a, a group of 10 kids in a summer camp. And at the end of the week, we'll talk to the family support worker and we'll talk amongst ourselves and determine what kids really, really could benefit from being here right. as a result of what we saw during the week. Tell us how many camps there are in the summertime here and, and what goes on there. So we run four five-day camps, so the weekday camps. They're here from nine in the morning till four o'clock in the afternoon. We have a selection process. We have a lady who finds the kids for us to attend those camps, and they come at no cost to them. Mm. Um, and they're here all day. They get a horsemanship lesson. They get a riding lesson. They get to work in the garden. They take care of the chickens. And every kid responds differently to the, to the environment. Some kids are all about the riding. Some kids like the riding, but they're all about caring for the horses and, and loving their horse. Other kids just think the chickens are the best thing in the world and <laughs> yeah. they're happy to ride, but they want to be taking care of the chickens. When, when, when we give them their free time, you really see where their passion is yeah. here at the barn. I've been coming here for like three years, yeah. I like to try it and I like to ride bareback and um, look at the chickens because 
I like their feathers and and they're kind of cute. Swing it, we'll do around the world, it's fun. It teaches you really good balance. I was doing this as like a three year old. It helped me have really good balance. Why is it so important for any kid to be here learning these different tools oh, and these different activities? And the farm, the work, that's responsibility and accountability. They adopt a horse for the whole week they're here and they have to do everything to take care of that horse. So they have to clean their stall, they have to scrub their buckets and keep the buckets clean, they have to groom them. They learn about the feed that the horse gets. If the horse has medical issues, they learn about all of that. And at the camps, Sometimes they just take a break and they kind of hang out in the garden and mm -hmm. help, or sometimes they go on a treasure hunt, or right. sometimes, I mean, it's, sometimes they just sing songs. Right. So, so there's a little downtime too, because that's a lot of work. It's a lot. So the morning is very, very busy, and then they take a good long lunch break, uh -huh. and then after lunch for the younger kids, um, Mary Ann, one of our ladies, was taking them up under a tree and they all lay down and she read to them. Oh. Um, for the older kids, they get some free time and they'll do, if they want to go sit in the garden, they can, so they get to choose their downtime. The kids do it all. They plant the seeds, they, take, they weed the garden, they weed the flowers as they come along, they water, and where need be, they also put minerals and nutrients and fertilizers down. I think when you interact with animals all the time, you learn a lot about your humanity. But when you're in a garden, you learn a lot about yourself, your quiet time, your patience. You learn about observing things that are small and perhaps you walked by them every day. You just become more aware of your environment. And for a lot of these students um, and children that come, it's hard work to always be in the, with animals. And this is their quiet space. This is often their alone time where they get to be reflective and just in a beautiful place. So let's talk about the mentorship program because that is such a big part of what goes on here. That's huge. I, and the mentorship program is as important as the kids who come here through the foundation. During the school year for our after school program, um, Madison House mm -hmm. through UVA, right. they provide mentors for our after school program because a lot of our barn mentors are in school and we always tell them that academics come first. Right. Um, so some of them will come on Fridays and help but um, Madison House provides mentors during the school year. During the summer, the kids in our lesson program go through a mentor training program. I mean, there's a huge, huge learning process and benefit to them. It's dedication, it's responsibility. They have to learn how to communicate with the kids. Right. They have to learn patience right. because these kids aren't always good every single day, all day. The kids get tired. The kids might have a bad day. Um, teaching, they have to learn how to communicate with a kid on their level. Mm -hmm. So the mentor might be a 14-year-old who's trying to teach a six-year-old how to groom and tack up a horse, how to ride. And the, the idea too, a lot of your mentors started as students. Absolutely. And the idea is to always have, have that happen as often as possible, Exactly. Right? So our hope is that the kids who come in through the foundation, who most of them are in elementary school, is they will not only learn to ride, but they will continue with us and go up through the program. So within the program, if you walk in the barn, my hope is that we operate as a community and everybody is treated on an equal basis so that it's not foundation kids, mentors, we don't distinguish between them all. So we encourage everybody to strive to be a mentor if they'd like to. The foundation camps are a lot more than just kids get to ride a pony. It's they learn more about responsibility and we get to teach them that and we get to 
meet these kids who, you know, the, on the Monday or Tuesday of the first camps, they, they're a little shy and hesitant, and then they just open up by like the Friday. And by the end of the week, they're just these new people. And like being a mentor is being able to be there and being able to teach these kids something that may, they might not be able to know before. And one of your students who became a mentor was actually someone, and her story is great because she is one of, she's the one who found the first grant to start the foundation here, right. right? Rosemary Hatch, who grew up in Charlottesville and was one of my very first students. When she went off to William and Mary, she was able, actually able to get a job while she was in college teaching because of what she had learned here. So she was able to generate income while she was in college. Right. And she applied for a grant that funded our very first foundation summer camp. And so that's a, I love that. And then so yeah. that's one of the main ways that the foundation is funded through grants, right. through private lessons as well, mm -hmm. right? Right. The private lessons help generate income to support the farm. Um, we do a good bit of grant writing. Um, and then private donations. We have right. people who just feel passionately about what we do, and so we get private donations as well. Okay, so what would be the, the big goal, the big dream? What would you like to see happen down the road for the foundation? <laughs> the <Big>. really huge <laughs> dream for the foundation is to ultimately own this farm. Right now, we lease it, um, and it is for sale. So our, our big, big, big dream is to be able to purchase the farm through the foundation. So that's, that's, that's my goal for 2014, 2015. Um, and then we could have a permanent home because we'd really like to be able to make some more improvements and really set this up as an overall education center for horsemanship and some of the gardening and farm stuff we're getting involved in. I think it's a great goal. I think it's great. Eyes up. Sit up tall, good boy. Good job. <laughs>